Uh, hello, um, hello. This is Joe Wright at the Mill Valley Film Festival. Um, thanks for for having me back again. Uh, I'm the director of a movie called Cyrano, which we're um, playing tonight at the Mill Valley Film Festival. Uh, it's a um, <clears throat> it's a musical adaptation of the classic French play Cyrano de Bergerac, and it stars uh, Peter Dinklage and Haley Bennett and and Kelvin Harrison Jr. And um, yeah, it's very exciting to be back here. I know now with the uh, festival, so what does the festival mean to you then? Uh, I've been to this festival many times now, uh, since my first movie, Pride and Prejudice. We were here again with Atonement and Darkest Hour. And, uh, so it's, it's great. It's like you know, coming back and seeing old friends. How was the pandemic and stuff like that when you had that? What was that like for that year plus? Um, well, we shot the movie during the pandemic uh, on the island of Sicily. And um, yeah, it, it was it was pretty challenging, but it also was um, great to be working and, and to be able to get others to work. And uh, and it created this wonderful kind of familial uh, atmosphere um, of determined uh, determination. So it was, it was great. So anything you'd like to add? No, I'm good. You got it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Mm -hmm. I wish. And we're going to start right here. Oh, yeah. Hi, Joe. Hello. How's it going? All right, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you again. Yeah, yeah. we met, um, I think, just around 2017 for Darkest Hour. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were at the Mill Valley Film Festival. Welcome back. Thank you very much indeed. It's lovely to be back. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to have you here, and we're so excited for you to join us. So thank you. Congratulations thank on you. Serrano. Thank you. Yeah, and um, you know, this is really interesting. Um, I read about this film, and um, Peter Dickwish stars in it. That's so wonderful. How did he come to be starred in the film? Uh, well, there was um, an original kind of workshop production at a little theater in Connecticut called the Good Speed Theater, where I saw uh, I saw him him play the role, and I thought he was extraordinary, and um, I wanted to bring that to the big screen. That is so wonderful, and I understand that um, you know this movie was created during this pandemic time, yeah. and um, what was that like, and what inspired you to make the film during this time? Um, well, we'd all been you know sitting around at home for four or five months, and. Um, going slowly out of our minds and here was a movie about human connection and uh, about the need to connect with other people and um, so it seemed like a really important film to make uh, at this time so we kind of um, got this amazing group of people together on the island of Sicily and uh, and kind of created a, our own sort of pod and we Made a movie. Well, that's quite an accomplishment, so great Thank job you. with that. Thank We're really you. excited to see it tonight. And you know, um, you've made Pride and Prejudice, Dark Sour, various other films. How is this film different, and um, you know, how do you choose the projects that you work on? Uh, well, it's my first, uh, my first musical. Uh, so that was quite different, although that felt like a progression really from the movie I did uh, of Anna Karenina. So, um, so that felt like a kind of progression. Uh, uh, I guess that was the big, the big difference for me. Wonderful. Well, again, great to see you Thank and you. congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, Philip. Hello, Joe. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? My pleasure, my pleasure. Welcome back to the Mill Valley Film Festival. Thank you, it's lovely to be back. Before we get into Cyrano, tell us your experience with Woman in the Window for Netflix with Amy Adams. What about it? We're here for Cyrano. Let's talk about Cyrano. Okay, well, let's talk about Cyrano. Uh -huh. There's some changes in this film from, I remember seeing Cyrano when I was younger. Mm. How did you adapt those changes to the film? Mm. Well, first and foremost, um, our Cyrano um, doesn't have the big nose. Um, uh, he's played by Peter Dinklage, um, and uh, and it's a musical as opposed to the original, which is a straight drama. Um, and uh, also, the role of Roxanne is kind of more empowered than previous versions. So it's a kind of um, uh, there's a there's an element of modernisation to the piece. 
how did you select these actors? Because you're always selecting the best actors for those particular roles, like Gary Oldman in Darkest Hour. Mm -hmm. What was your process of selecting these actors? Um, well, honestly, um, uh, they were doing a, a kind of workshop stage version of the of the uh, musical up at a small theatre in uh, Connecticut, with the Good Speed Theatre. And uh, Pete was playing Cyrano and Haley was playing Roxanne and I was just really rocked by their performances and the chemistry between them. How would you compare from like The Darkest Hour? I, mean, I know every film is different in the production, but does anything particular stand out about whether it was a little more difficult because of COVID or easier? Or? Um, no, it was, it was certainly more difficult because of COVID. Um, the limitations put upon us um, practically were kind of at times pretty suffocating. Uh, um, and there was always the danger that we would get shut down any day, you know, so we felt um, an enormous relief um, uh, when we completed each and every single day. Visually, um, the film looks amazing just from the, from the short scenes I've seen. Um, in terms of the differences between the stage performance and, you know, and here, were you trying to replicate that energy you mentioned you saw during the, the theater festival, or were you trying to go no, I'm trying to trying to create something far more intimate, and, um, uh, and that's the wonderful thing about film, is that you can gain a kind of intimacy with your characters that you can't on stage. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What was this uh, funnest day on set? Everyone's talking about all the serious stuff. What was like the silliest day? The silliest day? The silliest day was when we were up a live volcano and uh, it erupted. What? And we all had to run for our lives. That happens? Yeah, that really you're, you're happened. pulling my leg. No, that really happened. We shot a sequence of the movie up on Mount Etna. Um, and so, yeah, we had to... Um, it erupted. How did you you were running? You weren't in a car. No, we ran, and then we got in a four wheel drive. Scary. And sped off it. Oh, yeah. That sounds a lot scarier than COVID. Somewhere. Yeah, it was. Um, it was quite alarming. Would you also say that was the most challenging day on set? Yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, congratulations thank and uh, good luck with the Oscars this thank year. You. I wish you the best. No, thank you. I'm just. Julian. Hi Julian, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good. Here we are with director Joe, right? And you're no stranger to the mobile film, so how's it feel to be kicking it off? Uh, it's really exciting to be back and really exciting to be kicking it off. I um, I was here with my first film back in... Oh God, I hate to think how long ago that was. Um, so uh, it's lovely to be back and, and it's kind of like seeing old friends really, it's funny. Yeah. All right, and so here you are promoting your new movie. Do you feel any pressure because you know, this comes from like play, but? Um, not generally. Um, uh, I've adapted a couple of, you know, pretty well-known uh, books before. Um, there was one scene, there's a very famous balcony scene uh, in the original play, and, um, and people really know that scene and love that scene, and so, um, finding a, a, a fresh interpretation was um, was a little bit daunting. And it, it is a period piece, but with love, love knows no time. That's Can you describe right. how important that is for this film? Um, well, it's very much uh, um, a film about how people connect, or unfortunately how they often fail to connect, and especially at this time in history when we've been starved of that human connection, uh, I felt it was really important to make a film about, about just that. Awesome, thank you very much, congratulations. Thank you, thank you.